Hello guys and welcome back to a new video on this channel. Today we are looking at smart resizing, a new feature that just came with the latest sketch version, sketch 39. And we are using this function right now. Here is one of the UIs that I created in like a, the like in one of the last tutorials and I am basically showing you what smart resizing is doing. You can do smart resizing with groups and with symbols. We are doing it with a group right now and like you see right here we have this group navigation and if I want to resize it because for example we are going to create this UI which was made in the iPhone 6 size but we want to create one for the iPhone 6 Plus. Now what you usually would do is to just paste it to this artboard right here. And right now you would normally just drag it and make it bigger like that. But as you see, this really looks very weird. If you want to make, for example, an iPhone 5 or 4 version where you have to make it smaller, you see that it really looks weird. And if you make it bigger, like just on a horizontal way, then it's still looking very weird. Because it's not really just changing the spacing between the icons, but also the size of the icons as well. So what you are now able to do is to go into Sketch, into your layer list, and right here you are now able to select these icons. And because we have a group now, we can say we want one of these resizing options. Now at the moment we have stretch, which was the option that you had like before in previous sketch versions. Now we can pin our uh, file to the nearest corner, which we won't do right now. We can say we want to resize the object, which like uh, resizes the size of it, but the original position is kept and we can use float in place. Now this, this is really what we are going to use. The layer is not going to be resized but the original percentage or position is kept. Now select float in place and if you now go and select the group you are able to just see that it's just changing the spacing between these icons. And this is just an amazing feature which is so helpful and I'm glad that they implemented this. So if you want, for example, a smaller one for an iPhone 5, you can just do that. You see that it's working perfectly and we can also do it and make it bigger. We can do the same with these items right here that we have. Now let me copy one of them to just show it to you. Let's paste them onto this artboard. And right now you see, if I'm going to drag this, you see that the text is really looking weird. This button on the right side is looking very weird and we have some major problems right there. But if we just click this button, if we just click this button right here, and we say it should be pinned to the corner, which will mean that it's pinned to this corner and to this position then we don't have a problem because it keeps the exact size of the current spacing to this, to this corner right here. Now let me show you what it does. We can now make it smaller and the original position is just kept. Now we can also make it bigger and you see it's just working fine. Of course we could also say we want to use float in place again where the original uh, percentage to the or the original spacing percentage is still there. Now you see that if I'm making it smaller the spacing is also made smaller and if I make it bigger the spacing is also made bigger, but we want to have the exact spacing in a larger version. 
We can do the same with these elements, with these text layers and that's of course very important because we don't want these text layers to really cross each other. So right now you see that if we make it bigger, if we make it smaller, it's just amazing because we don't have these problems anymore. So we can just say, let's resize it like this. Of course the photo shouldn't be bigger, so we can actually do it by hitting this icon and resizing it so we get normal relations back like that. Now we have a couple of other options as I said. We have for example stretch which was the normal one that I showed you and we can say we want to resize obje the object. And this means, you see this little tooltip right here, we keep the original position, but it resizes the layer. Now this is something that you won't really need that often, but I can show you what it does. I select two of these right here, and we can say resize the object. Now if we, if we select our group, you will see that the position is kept, but they really resize, so this isn't really looking that nice. But there are some cases where you need this function, where you need to resize like the icon as well. I can show it to you in a small example. So for example, you have a circle. and. You have it right here. Let's grab one of these icons that we had at this bottom navigation. Okay, now let's let's make this a little bit bigger. Like that. And now we want to create a group, of course. And as I said, it's also working with symbols, but we are doing it in a group right now, which is just easier for me to show it to you. But it's just the same in symbols. We want to resize the object, but its current, uh, its, its latest position, which is in the center, horizontally and vertically, should be kept. So if we now change the size of the group, you see that it's also changing. So now this looks a bit weird if you make it smaller, but if you make it bigger, it just looks better. For example, if we have this normal size and say it should be just float in place with no resizing of the icon itself, you see that we can make a huge button but the actual icon within that button is just so small. So this could be a problem if you want to, for example, change the size of a button to a bigger one. And if you're not just, just doing horizontal uh, changes like we did in the menu right here. Okay, so this was just a short tutorial to show you this new function, which is amazing. I can only like recommend you checking it out, testing it out, dragging, some of the elements. You can also just try it out with the template that Sketch has in store. Just open it up. This will take a moment. And for example, we can like copy one of these elements right here. Let me show it to you. Let me just select like all of them. So we can like do a small live version that I didn't prepare, but it's just working out fine. Let's get rid of that. Let me change the background color so we get some context like that. And you see that we have these elements right here and they are not really working on this artboard because it's too big. So we can go into this original symbol 
uh, by du double clicking the actual item. You can return to your artboard just with this arrow and right here on this artboard we see that we have some resizing options just right here. You see that they already uh, added them and if we just go now and make all of them bigger, change the horizontal uh, value, the uh, width, you see that it's just working fine. The elements on the right like the time and this arrow, they are pinned to the corner and they are floating just amazing as well as the text and you can just drag them to the right to get the right size just like that super easy as you see the sketch templates are also working for this new with this new feature and yeah I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you liked it, give me a thumb up or subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So thank you for your time guys and enjoy your week. See you. Mm -hmm.